But you look so bad, or isn't it forgiven? Is your quick say really need to make the ass work and make your own prick and make the nigga white beard don't you jerk it one box piece of ass of this class? Assassination, passing my heroin, give me medicine. I'm the doctor, not doctor, do one day I didn't know. My hero academia, the girls in uniform, I'm naughty America Before my mic, I'm my kids up and I push There's no pain, no gain, no gain, no life There's no detecting, detect no life Cause this girl's in the D, yeah, dancing techno Even in the afterlife And now I'm at times, the world barely has a life This is your life K.I. Riri I need you. It's Boo Tricks! No pain, no game, no game, no life. Like I'm a cold like the Samson's. Or the witches that want to shoot. So please come back in. Please come back The third one is a surprise. It's um, Jeff's favorite series. It, 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 one of my favorite series this season. And, and it is sort of out of the way. But it is, it, it's something that I've currently got a what's in the in the works for, so you guys are going to get an exclusive preview of what that's going to be. Each of those is going to take 10 minutes, and then we're going to take 15 minutes at the end of this to open it up to a Q&A from you guys, and you can, you can ask me questions about what's an LP or whatever. I don't know. All right, let's get rolling. Um, Maximum is it? Okay. Uh, is that the, no, it's the same. Clearly, I'm doing a great job if he's. <laughs> So cute without actually showing us anything about her. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, like like it's it's basically all just a build up to some of the best fights in shonen anime history. Like, um, but the, the main thing that I want to uh, take away from this, and unfortunately we couldn't get uh, the third opening uh, downloaded because uh, uh, we couldn't find it. Um, <laughs> uh, the, but also spoilers is something we're actually learning to be conscious we of. Are, we are trying to avoid spoilers a little bit. Um, but the, the main thing that uh, we want to look out for here is uh, the way that Deku looks at All Might. Here, compared to the last one, he, he's much more uh, reverential, but not necessarily awestruck in the same way that he is in the first opening, which... Wait, no. <laughs> 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 um, uh, but yeah, so there's like, this huge difference where now he, like in the first OP, he's looking at him with total reverence, like he feels like he's not worthy, almost, and he's like reaching out for his shadow, trying to um, become him, and, and uh, like he doesn't know him super well. And in the second one, uh, they have a much closer relationship. He's, he's looking at him sort of side on. And then the third opening, we see them looking at each other and, and actually like making eye contact and sort of treating each other as equals. It's a really cool evolution across the three openings. They get to talk about their relationship together. And Don't hello many park, what's it not done in his looks? Could not make it damn If you don't like it, get the step and like some penny up. Yeah, but the way with my pants, boo, cut the bar blue. Got ocean that would look so blue. We all the perfect too. Just me and you. Come on, baby, some ass to brand new. We can fuck like I am a monster. You can treat me like a bugger, Mrs. Officer. Cover to the stars, I'm so popular. Every night I give it to her. Stop playing, complaining over what the fuck you want. Try to play a game with me, become my lady when all you do is taunt. I wanna kiss you, what did she kiss you? Tell me what is going on. How the dance be a coat? I can ever so be your favorite song. I love it. This is my shit.
examples of what we're trying to talk about. Um, it, it was a beautiful blend. I got it mixed up with Cowboy Bebop as a kid. Uh, so I kept trying to find that in Cowboy Bebop. And yeah, it was a hard like 20, 15 years, you know what I mean? Like, uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, that was direct involvement with hip hop. Actual hip hop um, producers, actual hip hop DJs. Um, I believe there's graffiti in there, there's break dancing, so they incorporated the elements. And what was dope too, it wasn't a negative thing. It was actually like the backbone of the entire series. And uh, man, this is beautiful. Um, is this the Boondocks? Yeah! And, and, and look, yes I did include that in the anime category. Because I'm petty. <laughs> um, and it is, it is. Um, Oh man, yeah, they have actual, he knows. Um, the amount of cameos on there, like I know for a fact, I can't remember them off the top. I'm just looking at the words boondocks, I'm supposed to remember them. But they've had everybody from like playing themselves, like uh, Ghostface played a ghost. <laughs> but uh, they had, um, they even had like, rest in peace Charlie Murphy, they've had um, Buster Rhymes was like a regular. And, <laughs> wait. Did he play a white dude? Yeah. Charlie Murphy. Charlie. This is probably gonna be the most obvious one, but Samurai Champloo. Woo! Yeah. 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 Beautiful, beautiful reaction. Yeah, um, so, I remember when I first, I kept trying to find that in Cowboy Bebop, and yeah, it was a hard like 20, 15 years, you know what I mean? Like, uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, that was direct involvement with hip hop. Actual hip hop, um, Producers, actual hip hop DJs. Um, I believe there's graffiti in there. There's break dancing, so they incorporated the elements. And what was dope too, it wasn't a negative thing. It was actually like the backbone of the entire series. And um, man, this is beautiful. Um, I said the Boondocks. Yeah. And, and look, yes, I did include that in the anime category because I'm petty. Um, and it is. It is. Um, Oh man, yeah, they have actual, he knows. Um, the amount of cameos on there, like I know for a fact, I can't remember them off the top. I'm just looking at the words boondocks, I'm supposed to remember them. But they've had everybody from like playing themselves, like uh, Ghostface played a ghost. But uh, they had, um, they even had like, rest in peace Charlie Murphy, they've had um, Buster Rhymes was like a regular. And, <laughs> wait, did he play a white dude? He Charlie Murphy. Charlie he's, he's hip hop. But um, yeah, he got to do a, um, his own comic uh, with Marvel, and Method Man got to do an issue of, bless you, an issue of, <laughs> no problem, no problem, uh, an issue of Ghost Rider. Uh, the new Ghost Rider, I don't mind him. He's from LA, but I forgive him. <laughs> uh, just playing, just playing. Um, and then, just like, uh, just like the progression with video games, you saw them going from like, being mentioned to participants 
to owners. So we have, you know, Wu Tang, they put out a bunch of color books. I think three different ones, one for an album, one just a group, and I believe they had a couple of solo ones. Um, and DMC, uh, Daryl Makes Comics, one of the legends. That's why I, I call dad rap, no offense. Like, that's what my dad listened to, stay with dad rap. But, uh, you know, I'm a dad too, so that doesn't make any sense. Um, but yeah. To know that like some of the pioneers uh, were involved with it. T technically, if you go back, like um, even I saw an interview with Grandmaster Flash, he's a huge nerd. I watched the get down and I was like, oh, this dude is smooth. I'm like, this is the coolest person that's ever been created, birthed. And then I saw an interview and he was like, he was a, he was a dork. They're like, so why'd you create hip hop? And he was just like, I needed to. It was just something that just was like bugging me, you know? And I was like, oh, dope. He's one of me, you know what I mean? He's like a magic, magical teacher. Yeah. Hey, he, he could be whatever he wants to be, guys. Come on. Um, and then Two Chains. Uh, I don't know if it's delayed or whatever, but um, he's supposed to have a show come out too. It's gonna be about whatever Two Chains raps about. And then uh, Freaknik again, Adult Swim. Did, did anybody watch Freaknik? Uh, T Pain. Oh, I appreciate that one. I heard something over there. Might have been a cough. Um, but yeah, it was a, a whole cartoon special with like, uh, it was T-Pain's thing on Adult Swim and uh, it had like DJ Drama, Lil Wayne, we're talking about like giant figures on the same channel I used to watch, like cartoons, I still watch it, you know what I mean, like that concept is my world. Um, hold on one second. Oh, okay, let's switch gears for a bit, hold on, are we good on time? I can't remember when it's supposed to end, but um, yeah, let's let's switch to um, the examples of geek culture in hip hop. The first um, very obvious example is in lyrics. Um, like most famous biggie line for me is the Super Nintendo Sega Genesis. That was the and, and the thing that's dope too is people hear that and it just sounds cool. But if you guys were around back then, buying those systems and games just like it is now, like it cost. And there's a lot of people who didn't get to play those, so they're looked at as like luxury items. You know, we joke about that kind of stuff. no sense anymore. It's just whatever song that comes out is going to have some kind of Naruto fight scene. <laughs> <laughs> it could be like breakup song, Naruto fight scene. <laughs> you ain't wrong. Struggle rap. Naruto fight scene. <laughs> Dear Mama 2017 remix. Dragon Ball Z fight scene. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I think there's just, especially if you look at the freshman list, um, who here like the freshman list? You know what's the deal, you know how I feel.